So why is it so important to have an oil butt oil cooler on your motorcycle, especially the newer fuel-injected Harley-Davidson's? Well, there's a lot stricter EPA standards, which means leaning the bike out, which means hotter cylinder head temperatures. And the way to get them cool is uh, cool oil. And that's where oil butt comes in. That's where oil butt comes in. So if you've got a newer Harley-Davidson that's fuel-injected, like he said, they're cracking down on emissions, and to meet the emission standards, Harley-Davidson having to lean down your motorcycles. When you do lean them down, generates more heat. Oil bud helps get rid of that heat. So how do you know your oil bud works? We checked it out in the heat of Las Vegas. So check it out for yourself. We're downtown Las Vegas. Uh, bud Clark and I are doing a little testing on Buddy's oil coolers. I just got a patent on a new oil cooler that's revolutionary in design. It's amazing. Both bikes side by side, blistering heat of downtown Las Vegas. Stop and go traffic. His bike with his oil cooler is right at 35 degrees cooler than mine, oil temperature. Mine's winning. Like just a smidge over 200, smidge over 240. I call out a 35 degree difference. In stop and go traffic. That, stop and go that traffic. is really, really good. So tell us about your oil cooler. The patent pending device that I invented about six months ago. We've just been doing some testing. That's a thermostat right there. As you notice that it's all stainless steel polished and aluminum thermostat housing. It comes on at 180 degrees and at 205 it's open all the way. This oil cooler has been on for about 7,000 miles and you'll see the rocks don't bother it. It's an extremely durable device. The oil goes in the hot side here, it flows through this header tank, and then it flows through here, and as you notice, the cor you see all the fins that, that, that are in there? That's a huge amount of cooling area. It's very durable, uh, rocks will not harm it. Uh, then it flows from here, and then it goes through this cooling element, and then through this one here, and out to the cool side, back through the thermostat, back to the oil tank. It's right in between the crankcase and up into the frame rails. I've been working with you on this project for over a year now. People with Harley Davidson ride nice motorcycles. That's why they own Harley Davidsons. Nobody likes to bolt a big, gaudy oil cooler on the front of their motorcycle. You invented an oil cooler. It's up underneath the frame rails. It's out of sight, out of mind. But on the other side, it's very efficient. We were side by side in the heat of downtown Las Vegas, stop and go traffic. I didn't have a cooler on my bike, but had his oil butt on his bike, and he was 35 degrees cooler, stop and go traffic. 